As the COVID-19 continues to take toll on lives and economies across the globe, the use of robots has become increasingly one of the effective means to contain its spread. The government of Rwanda, in the partnership with the United Nations Development Program and the government of Japan, has deployed three disinfection robots to reinforce its efforts against the virus. The ultraviolet sea light robots will help in cleaning and disinfecting treatment centers, hospitals and the places of mass gathering, such as markets or offices, as a means to limit the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. Their unique features include the UVC lamps that emit ultraviolet light which destroy the virus, bacteria or any other microorganisms. This robot has the capacity of killing microorganisms uh, uh, of uh, like for a room of uh, two to three meters it uses only six minutes while for normal decontamination system they were using 30 minutes and then waiting to use the room like after 10 minutes while this one the user they continue to operate in the room after the, the, the contamination in may 2020 Rwanda, in a partnership with the UNDP Rwanda, deployed five smart anti-epidemic robots to minimize the contact between patients infected with coronavirus and health workers. Anti-epidemic robots and this new set of disinfection robots form a complete package of infection prevention and control. The first ones were mainly to help doctors and uh, nurses at their daily works. These ones are coming to help in cleaning uh, surfaces and places where uh, people could catch infection, not only in treatment centers, but also in the public. So it's a complete package of uh, infection prevention control with ultraviolet robots and management of cases um, with the support by robots that uh, help doctors and nurses on duty. The kind of progress that this partnership has led to is one that we believe will, uh, can inspire other, other countries. In this case, we've seen the impact of having these robots supporting healthcare, and I believe that um, uh, it's, it's really so a call for, to an invitation uh, to more partnership that can drive this kind of uh, outcomes within Rwanda, but also in other countries here on the continent of Africa. Rwanda is among the first sub-Saharan African countries to deploy this type of cutting-edge technology to combat coronavirus. The partnership between UNDP and Rwanda through the Ministry of ICT and Innovation is a typical example of effective partnership that is helping to advance technology and innovation in sub-Saharan Africa. That partnership with the Ministry of ICT is one that we are going to carry forward into different aspects of our society as we face the challenge of transforming our economy and helping our economy to recover better and to recover greener and to recover in a more inclusive way. Technology will be at the center of it all. The farm can be I mean, the collaborator to of the especially for the new technology with the UNDP. So we would like to continue to have a new project, new technology to change the world after COVID especially. The outbreak of a coronavirus has ignited the interest in using robotics to contain the spread of infectious diseases such as COVID-19. With the development of a telenursing, robots could help combat future pandemics.